A. This is a picture of a motorcycle. B. This is a picture of a chair. C. This is a picture of a wheelchair. D. This is a picture of a bicycle. A. This is a picture of a motorcycle. B. This is a picture of a chair. C. This is a picture of a wheelchair. D. This is a picture of a bicycle. 2. A. This man is wearing glasses. B. He is looking into a movie camera. C. He is using a computer. D. The man is checking his eyesight. A. This man is wearing glasses. B. He is looking into a movie camera. C. He is using a computer. D. The man is checking his eyesight. 3. A. The woman has an injured arm. B. She has an injured knee. C. The woman has an injured foot. D. She injured her wrist. A. The woman has an injured arm. B. She has an injured knee. C. The woman has an injured foot. D. She injured her wrist. 4. A. The woman is looking in a bottle. B. The woman is crying. C. She is looking into a telescope. D. She is putting medicine in her eye. A. The woman is looking in a bottle. B. The woman is crying. C. She is looking into a telescope. D. She is putting medicine in her eye. Number 5. A. The man in white is a doctor. B. The man in white is a businessman. C. The man in white is a cook. D. The man in white is a teacher. A. The man in white is a doctor. B. The man in white is a businessman. C. The man in white is a cook. D. The man in white is a teacher. Part 2. Questions and Responses Listen to the questions and choose the best answer. Number 1. I have a headache. Do we have any aspirin? A. Look in the medicine cabinet in the bathroom. B. She is on her way home. C. I feel fine. Number 2. Can I make a doctor's appointment for Monday, please? A. Monday is a weekday. B. Give the children some candy. C. Yes. Is 2.30 OK? Number 3. Do you have to study hard to become a dentist? A. Yes. It is a lot of work. B. The dentist's office is next to the barber shop. C. She will return tomorrow afternoon. Number 4. Can you recommend a good eye doctor? A. I wear glasses. B. Yes, I go to Dr. Park. C. Don't worry so much. You'll be fine. Number 5. She cut her finger. What should we do? A. There are six students in the class. B. I'd like a drink of water. C. It's not too deep. Cover it with a small bandage. Sir. Number 1. I have a headache. Do we have any aspirin? A. Look in the medicine cabinet in the bathroom. 
B. She is on her way home. C. I feel fine. Number two. Can I make a doctor's appointment for Monday, please? A. Monday is a weekday. B. Give the children some candy. C. Yes. Is two thirty okay? Number three. Do you have to study hard to become a dentist? A. Yes. It is a lot of work. B. The dentist's office is next to the barber shop. C. She will return tomorrow afternoon. Number four. Can you recommend a good eye doctor? A. I wear glasses. B. Yes, I go to Doctor Park. C. Don't worry so much. You'll be fine. Number five. She cut her finger. What should we do? A. There are six students in the class. B. I'd like a drink of water. C. It's not too deep. Cover it with a small bandage. Part three. Short conversations. Choose the best answer to each question. Questions one through three refer to the following conversation. Ow! My tooth really hurts. Mary, you've had a toothache for over a week. You should go to the dentist. Why don't you make an appointment? I can't. I tried, but he's on vacation until Thursday. I'll have to wait two more days. Well, I guess you have no choice then. But be sure to call first thing Thursday. Number one, what is wrong with Mary? Number two, how long has Mary had the problem? Number three, what day is it? Questions one through three refer to the following conversation. Ow, my tooth really hurts. Mary. You've had a toothache for over a week. You should go to the dentist. Why don't you make an appointment? I can't. I tried, but he's on vacation until Thursday. I'll have to wait two more days. Well, I guess you have no choice then. But be sure to call first thing Thursday. Number one, what is wrong with Mary? Number two, how long has Mary had the problem? Number three, what day is it? Questions four through six refer to the following conversation. Mr. Thomas, look at the chart on the wall. Now, could you read the last line for me? Yes, it looks like A F R P Q M and X. Very good. Now, how about the second line? What can you see? It says T S M Z and K. That's perfect. Your eyesight is excellent. You don't need glasses at all. Come for another checkup in twelve months' time. Number four. What kind of test is Mr. Thomas taking? Number five. At the beginning of the conversation, which line does the doctor ask Thomas to read? Number six. What is the last letter in the second line?
questions 4 through 6 refer to the following conversation. Mr. Thomas, look at the chart on the wall. Now, could you read the last line for me? Yes, it looks like A, F, R, P, Q, M, and X. Very good. Now, how about the second line? What can you see? It says T, S, M, Z, and K. That's perfect. Your eyesight is excellent. You don't need glasses at all. Come for another checkup in 12 months' time. Number 4. What kind of test is Mr. Thomas taking? Number 5. At the beginning of the conversation, which line does the doctor ask Thomas to read? Number 6. What is the last letter in the second line? 